Let's talk about time management on the PAT. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how the PAT is organized and how much time is given, as well as several time management strategies that you can use on your PAT. This is a document that you can find on our website, eruditionprep.com, if you click on DAT PAT Info. So let's get into it. PAT organization and time given. So the perceptual ability test is the second section on your dental admissions test, directly following the survey of natural sciences. It has 90 questions, and there are 15 questions for each of the six problem types. The problem types are listed in order here on this table. They go keyhole, top front end, angle ranking, hole punching, cube counting, and pattern folding. And since you have 60 minutes to complete the entirety of the PAT, you have about 10 minutes per problem type, which comes out to about 40 seconds per question on the exam. Knowing all of this, let's go over some time management strategies. We recommend considering a few different time management strategies and then figuring out what works best for you. What you choose to do will depend on whether you tend to have plenty of time on the PAT or whether you tend to run out of time and get stuck on a particular type of question. So our first strategy is simple and we just call it going through the PAT in order. We recommend doing this if you don't typically run out of time on the PAT and you don't tend to get stuck on a particular problem type. In this case, you can just proceed through the problems in order without jumping around, but at the same time closely paying attention to your time. Remember that you want to be taking less than 10 minutes on each section of the PAT if you want to have any time at the end to go back and sort of recheck things. So this is good if you're pretty even across the different problem types. Just to make sure that you're on top of your time, you can just check your time points at the end of each section. For example, if you get to problem 75, you want to make sure that you have at least 10 minutes left in your test to finish the last 15 questions and have a little bit of time to go back and look things over to quickly check for any mistakes. Strategy two is for people who have a little more trouble with time management on the PAT. And in this case, you're gonna to have to do a little tweaking to find a custom plan that works best for you. For instance, if you get stuck on a particular type of problem, then it's actually best if you save that type of problem for the end of your exam. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna end up in a situation where say keyholes or top front end, something at the beginning of the exam is your hardest section. You end up getting stuck on those problems and you end up having to rush through the rest of your exam. So if that's the case, if you get stuck on one of those problem types, you'll really wanna save those for the end so that you can answer all the other problem types first and not be rushing the problems that you're a little bit more comfortable with. Here's an example of how this could work. This is pretty similar to what we just discussed. Say that you sometimes get stuck on keyholes and top front ends, and say you also seriously get stuck on pattern folding problems but you can complete the angle ranking problems and cube counting problems really quickly. So we would recommend that you just start with your quickest problem types and then proceed to the problem types that will take you longer. So in this case, I know that I can do angle ranking problems really quick, same with cube counting problems. So I'm just gonna go one angle ranking problems, two cube counting problems, or if we wanted to make it a little simpler and sort of go in the normal order, we could go angle ranking, hole punching, cube counting if my hole punching is also pretty fast. But in any case, you just wanna do your quicker problem types first. And then at the end, you can go back to the problem types that take you longer, keyholes, top front end, and then either hole punching or just pattern folding. So do your quickest first, and then go back through your other problem types. Look at our website for more information on types of PAT problems, as well as other articles with tips on how to study for your exam.